back guys to Pinoy Crossover, it's your boy Marky Mark and here we are with what's up in the NBA. We're gonna go straight out to our topics because we have so much to talk about. So we're gonna start with the East checkup. We're gonna check out what's going on in the East. Let's start with the Boston Celtics with all the injuries that's happening right now. Kyrie, Marcus Smart, we got uh, Jalen Brown. Are you guys worried about them? Maybe, maybe I'll go with JR first. Are you worried about the Celtics right now or what they're going to do in the playoffs with that injuries? Uh, Celtics in the playoffs this year, I'll be worried that because they had expectations to uh, make a deep run in the playoffs. On Honestly, but in, in the long run, this is just one year that they're together. They haven't played with Gordon Hayward yet. Mm -hmm. So they have time to um, bounce back, not just throughout the next, the next few games before the end of the season, through the playoffs and how, how deep they can go, and even to, through next year when they get Gordon Hayward back and when all of them get healthy. So you mean, you're basically telling me that this is their, just like a relapse chat and just getting, getting together a year? For sure. Because they're really meant for a long-term win, just for long-term success. I think, I think long-term, got to think long-term because, mm -hmm. you know, you haven't had played with Hayward yet, only mm -hmm. played over for him with six minutes in just the whole season. Yeah. And with all these injuries happening, I think, I think it's, time, it's, it's, it's good that uh, for a Boston fan, you should be fine that in the long run, you have a, a good structured team for a deep, a deep playoff run for the next few years, yeah. including this year as well. Makes sense. Are you worried about them? Um, yeah. I, I agree with you. Um, this year, they didn't really, they're built for the long run for sure. Um, with Hayward out, you don't really know what they are. Uh, I mean, from a Raptors fan, oh. I, whether they're healthy or not, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I think the Raptors have these guys. Mm -hmm. um, I think, to be honest, I think Boston gets too much respect. Yeah. As you know, the Raptors, the Raptors are getting knocked and say they haven't done anything in the playoffs. But what really has Boston done? But they're getting so much more respect for sure. that. So I think uh, for Boston, yeah, man, you, you have this year to kind of see where you guys are at. But until Hayward's there, you won't you know what tell. Boston's really made of. Mm -hmm. So That's true. Yeah. That's, how, about, how, about the, how about the Cavs, guys? Like, with, you know, with the level of greatness that LeBron has been playing, and they're still, you know, their defense has been so, um, has been terrible. Are you guys worried about it? Because they're, uh, with LeBron playing at a high level and still not being successful as a team, what do you guys think they're going to, what do you think the outcome they're going to have in the playoffs? I um, mean, for me, and, I, and I'll, I'll say this on camera, I'm not the biggest LeBron fan. Oh, mm -hmm. um, I was yeah, never too. <laughs> I think he's the best player in the world. For yeah. sure. I'm just not a big fan of him. Yeah. Um, I love what he does off the court though, mm -hmm. um, definitely. Yeah. But going back to your question, um, it's hard to doubt the guy. I don't, true. No matter how they, how how seven bad straight, they play right now, six, seven straight finals. Like, the it's guy just... finds a way to turn it up somehow mm -hmm. in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, so I'm not like as a cat fan. I'm not too worried about what they're going through right now because you have the best player in the world right now there, um, and he can turn it up. I think he can mm -hmm. anytime. Mm -hmm. So he's a guy that I'd be worried about if I was a Raptor fan. I'm I'm slightly honest. worried about the whole team in general, mm -hmm. but. As to your point, LeBron James is a LeBron James. You have the best player in the yeah. world. So you talked about it. When playoffs hit, when that April, when the April month turns around, the click will come to LeBron, and LeBron will will turn his his engine around and make it make make it sure it's playoff ready. Yeah. But the thing is, it's just LeBron James. Kevin Love is still. We don't know if he's going to get back in time, right? And then there's still all these young younger pieces that just got traded. Mm -hmm. Chemistry is getting there. But you can see in the with the record now that since since they got traded, they're what on the seven and six yeah. around yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, they, they still have time to gel together for the playoff run. I think they could still do all right. But worried for this this season and this playoff run, I I doubt they'll make a deep playoff run. Mm -hmm. Maybe just until the Eastern Conference Finals, and mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys made a good point, and I agree too because. We can't, you know, we can't doubt LeBron six, seven straight finals. Yeah. That's just hard to doubt. Mm -hmm. And the fact that uh, Kevin Love is still not back with him yet, and that's another piece that really uh, going to help sure. LeBron down yeah. the playoffs. But then now let's go to the, you know, the 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 price, the not, you know, the most, con you know, the most talked about this year now because of the fact that they're playing so well. The Raptors. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Do they have the best bench in the NBA? Do they have the best team right now, really, in the East to come out of it? In the East, I think they do. Yeah. Uh, they have a best overall team. Got the coach, Dwayne Casey. It's just all of them as a whole, the bench, DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, the starters, the coaching staff, Dwayne Casey himself, they've all grown together into today. And this is where they're at now. This is what the process since pounding, pounding the rock yeah, since yeah. day one, since Dwayne Casey came from the Mavericks. I think this is the, this is the time where I think the process is 
kind of ending now. This is time to be a contender. And this is what Masai and everyone again in the head office, Bobby Webster, all vision for this Raptors team to have make a good deeper run in the playoffs, not just the Eastern Conference Finals, but hopefully the NBA Finals as well. Mm -hmm. So they do have the, uh, a, a deep bench, uh, one of the best benches in the league. And right now they're winning nine straight games mm -hmm. and they're facing Indiana. And we'll see if they can hit 10 games left and also if they can hit that 60 game mark. We'll see. How about I mean, for me, I think for sure this is the best time for the Raptors. For sure. Um, like you said, they're the best team. Uh, they're, I think they're the best bench in mm -hmm. the NBA. Uh, they, they might not have the best bench player, but they have the best five guys or five, six together, guys coming off together. the bench. Together. The unit. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so fun to watch, mm -hmm. especially as a basketball player knowing that. Uh, one thing I love about the team right now is the trust they have for one with one True. another. Like I've never seen that. You know, like in the Raptors, Demar giving that last shot to Van, Van Fleet, Fleet for that, regardless low, of man. how many he missed that day. Yeah. Um, and him hitting it. You know what I mean? It's just they're they're working like a well-oiled machine right now, mm -hmm. and and I think that's gonna keep going. And I think they are gonna make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, when they get to the finals, a different story. Yeah. Because they're you <laughs> know they're either against <laughs> Houston or Golden State, <laughs> but. Um, which are also yeah. great teams as well. Yeah. It's that growth and culture yeah. change, man. But and yeah. I agree with you guys. Like, I think this is the most, the best time for the Raptors, opportunity-wise, just because of the injuries. Yeah. And also the fact that they've been fun to watch. I've never seen Raptors this fun to watch. Yeah. But let's go straight up to the West before we end. We have, you know, limited time, but let's go straight up on the West checkup. Golden State injuries. Clay, Curry, Draymond, um, Iguodala, David West. Are you guys worried, you know, do you guys think that this will be the time where their streak would end in terms of going in the finals? Uh, for me, I... I mean, I don't know how serious these injuries are. Some of these injuries I just found out right now. Yeah. Uh, so depending on how, how serious the injuries, if they get their whole team back, I still, I still would put... It's just kind of like LeBron, except yeah. it's the team. Yeah. Where yeah. You just, they've been at the finals and they've been dominating the league for so long. Uh, yeah. Not so long, but the last five years at least. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to doubt them that they, that mm -hmm. they won't make it there. Mm -hmm. And they have like two great players, I think, yeah. in Curry and Durant. That's true. Um, so... As long as they're, they come back healthy in time, I think they're going to make good. it to the finals. Yeah. I agree with Ray. Um, it's, not, it's not the same as the Boston situation. Boston, yeah. they have long-term. Warriors, long-term, but not too long, right? Um, the Warriors, I, I feel like if, if this goes on in the next two weeks, I guess it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be too late for them to make a, a good run in the playoffs because you've got a lot of teams just right behind you yeah. gunning for their spot. The Pelicans are on the come up. Um, Portland's coming up there. They still got OKC. Yeah. OKC with a big three, and they're trying to. They're all. They're almost at 100 percent at chemistry, chemistry wise, and just every every team is trying to find the playoff spot. And obviously Houston. Houston's a big factor. Houston's yeah. got that holding the number one seed that spot. So, I mean, if if these injuries can turn around just slightly, probably two weeks before the playoffs start, I think Warriors fans, you should be fine. And again, what you said. This Warriors whole this whole squad is like LeBron. Yeah, you'll be you'll, you'll be fine with this Warriors squad either way, and, so, and, and, and with Coach Steve Kerr as well. Oh yeah, yeah. forgot about him yeah. too. <laughs> and to end all, let's go straight up to you know the crazy scramble in the West right now for the three to eight spot. Who do you guys see making it? We got the Jazz, the Spur, uh, the Spurs, Timberwolves, Pelicans, the Blazers, the Thunder, and the Nuggets. Two of these teams are not gonna make it. Who do you see mm. teams that are gonna make it from the eight spot? Spurs, I think it's too late. Kawhi Leonard, if he comes back, it'll be too late. Um, Clippers, uh, they don't have the, 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 the bench depth or, or the, as, as, as a whole team. I don't, think, I don't think they're there yet. So Nuggets, Jazz, Timberwolves, Pelicans, Blazers, the Thunder, you guys are good. My How eyes. about you? How do, what do you see? Exactly what you said. Like for me, the two teams out are the Spurs and yeah. Clippers. I think it, regardless if Kawhi comes back, I think it's, it's just too late for them. Yeah. Um, with all the other stuff that's going around there off court with yeah, the rooms yeah, of Kawhi yeah. not even want to be there anymore yeah. or, he, or whatnot. I just think it's too late for them to, to make a run mm -hmm. regardless if he comes back. Yeah. And Clippers has just been Clipper, they just the playoffs is just not their time, I think. Yeah. And it's time for them to rebuild. Yeah, not, yeah. yeah it's time to re, I think it's for time sure. for them to rebuild yeah. for sure. a, a year or two ago, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. Everyone, all those other teams are good, I think. Nuggets, 
Jazz is playing good right now. Yeah. The Wolves, Pelicans, like you said, come up and Blazers, yeah. like Dame yeah. Lillard, like he's playing MVP. Yeah, level. he's it's playing true. awesome right now. So yeah. you can't doubt the guy. Wow, this is the first I've ever heard the Spurs are not gonna make it after yeah. 20 yeah. years. Yeah, it's crazy. It's Got crazy. A it's a hot crazy take, year this mm. year, guys. Sorry, man. Sorry, Spurs. Sorry, Spurs. Sorry, Spurs. Sorry, Spurs. <laughs> I know Spurs are your, your squad. Yeah. And that's all we have for our final call. So what a great episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our show. Before we go, any last words we want to hear from you guys? So definitely follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Pinor Colossal, where we have all the highlights there. Um, don't forget to message, message us if you have any concerns or inquiries. Also, we would like to see some uh, game tape, you know. And a lot of stuff are happening, tournaments are happening. We'll also have the Rise Tribe um, Heritage Night highlight video coming very soon. So we'll have that in the next few episodes. Ray, 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 can, where can they find you at? Right? Um, so you can find, find me at Ray Montagnel um, on Instagram. And of course, the M Cup Basketball. Follow M Cup Basketball for all the announcements including the tournament and the M Cup League that's coming up, um, as well as our junior NBA the development league, uh, program that we're going to be running next month. So reach out to us, hit us up. Um, just can't wait to see you guys. Hope you make it out to the league and the tournament, please. Hey, man, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thank man. you thanks for having me. It was awesome, man. Great time. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay balling.